Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you just a little bit more about the new moon and what it's all about. Okay, so if you're kind of new to this, you might be saying new moon, um, the moon phases can and will affect you. In fact, the more you continue on your journey, it's gonna be more noticeable. So one of the questions I get is, why do I notice that the moon is affecting me or how does the moon have an effect? It has an effect because your body is comprised of a lot of water, like 70 or more percent of water in every single cell in your body, even the ones you don't think about, like hair or bone. The other thing is that, yeah, it, it can cause tides and you know it it like pulls it has sort of this magnetic pull now what i like to think of the moon as is that it's sort of like you know a modulator like it helps you know do this like wah 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 helps to modulate energies and you know helps keep things in balance okay people that are really good at it are sailors because they rely on knowing about the tides, right? Okay. Now let's get focused on you and your life. How does this pertain to your life? The new moon is an energy that can kind of seem low. It can seem like you're digging deep within you. You're excavating something. You're trying to pull something out. Maybe you don't know what it is. Okay. This new moon energy can be about big change, big positive changes, dramatic change, like turning those things on a dime because that's the other aspect, which some people will attribute that to Scorpios. I like to attribute it to the divine, of course. And yes, those divine people that are connected as Scor Scorpios. Yeah. <laughs> My dad was a Scorpio. Oh man, that man had the ability to lie in wait and then like, like, he and he had quick reflexes he was like a big cat okay and you wouldn't even think it to look at him but he had like that wiry strength of like you know the irish and swedish people that he was descended from because that's what he was so you know back to new moon big change deep changes excavating bringing you forward, like bringing forward some change that you want in your life. How do you do this? Well, the very first thing is don't be wishy-washy about it. Okay. Your soul doesn't like mixed messages. Like your soul doesn't, you know, like, well, I'm just going to stay here until, okay. Or it, I guess it's my destiny to sort of, you know, stay put and deal with and like, okay, you don't have to get nasty with people. You don't have to, you know, go out on a limb, but what you have to do with yourself is don't be wishy-washy. Don't send mixed signals. You have to be decisive. That is what part of this energy is. It's decisions. It's make a decision make a positive decision, move forward on it one way or another. Okay. If you're going to join a class, join the class. If you're going to move the house, start taking baby steps in that direction, like get pre-qualified, talk to somebody, cruise a neighborhood. I mean, drive around the neighborhood and see how you like it, sit, have a coffee, that kind of thing. That cruise for trouble. Okay. Don't get in trouble. What other kind of changes? Health changes, okay? A lot of people have been on this journey three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, okay? Your health will change. Your ancestry is inevitable. Everybody's ancestry is inevitable. It doesn't matter how much people go into denial. It's like me, you know? I hit that speed bump with cholesterol. Okay, there I am, do, 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 and what grandma and grandpa had and what the other grandma and grandpa had, it caught up with me. Why? But here's the difference. I'm a prototyper. I am developing the key ways to, 
okay? I'm already back at normal range. It took me four months to do that prototyping. You can do it naturally, okay? I take medication if I need to, but my light body doesn't like staying on medication. And that's one of the key differences when you are an ascending person is that you'll find there's a cooperation between the metaphysical side of you and the physical side of you that needs to cooperate and bridge and begin the process of helping you balance that. So last month's energy was about find some footing and balance. This one is about make changes, okay? That means don't be in denial about things that you need to address. If you haven't had a female checkup, think about getting one, okay? You should have one. People are not moving forward when they don't do these things. If you don't like the place you're going to, that's what you have to decide. You have to say, I'm going to find a place that I like going to, but I need something, okay? Many, many things are causing people to have internal imbalances, okay? Those imbalances have existed with your ancestors. That's why I'm saying you're finally in some energy that you can make positive changes on. Now, when you work with me, you definitely do. We make this expeditious. It is a lot quicker. It is not being phased in over five years. The other thing you can do with new moon energy is dream. And I don't just mean your dreams. It means like your daydreams, your wishes. What do you imagine? Where do you want to be? So you know those questions on an interview where they say, hey, where do you see yourself in five years? That's the kind of thing that this energy is for. Where do you see yourself next year? Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, where this is about you. This is a very personalizing individuation of you type of energy. This is not for all the other kids on the playground because a lot of them are milling about not where you're at. They're not at the vibe you're at. They haven't been an ascending person. They may not even have been awakened, okay? Just because they say they're woke or they say woke stuff, you know, it could be that, you know, Instagram, psychobabble kind of version of bubblegum pop psychology, right? This is deep. This is deep and lasting change that is positive for you as the individuated side of your soul, okay? right here, right in River City, right at this level and getting you to the next level, leveling you up, getting you to where you want to be. Where do you want to be? That is the question, okay? Only you can answer that. Now, here's another thing. A lot of people believe somewhat validly, but yet it doesn't always work out for them that they're on fire to do some something. And all that energy goes off half cocked unless you focus and unless you pause long enough to let your soul help you focus it, refine it, document it, manifest it, get the proper collaboration or supporters. You're not sometimes intended to do everything by yourself, but it can be your inspiration your intellectual property, your idea. And it doesn't even have to be the most original idea either. That's the beautiful part because your soul energy is the brand. That's the energy, right? And I know this because I've taught classes for people on money and manifestation and abundance and they're doing in the six figures. I mean, they are, you know, they've put it to work. They've put their proper energy and level to work in their lives. And they're doing good work. It's kind of like win, win, win for everyone. There are ways that you should be using this energy. And it sh there are ways you shouldn't. Don't get angry. Don't get bitter. Don't get defeatist. Don't get grumpy. Okay. If you have all those things and you're feeling kind of older than your age and you're wondering, why do I feel like I have like 
weird aches and pains in my joints. You know, I have, oh, I have arthritis starting. I'm too young for this, right? I should be in my anti-aging mode. Time to join me, time to join my classes. Please check the links below. That's what I've got for you today for New Moon Energy. Hope to see you there. Please check out the description and have a great day. Bye.